the Home Depot theme song intensifies. All right, it is time to go find a nice workbench at the Home Depot. I'm gonna look for a cheap plastic shelf too. Once I get my workbench, we can put our heat press on there and other junk, and I can finally start pressing my shirts. Let's go see if we can find a bench inside of this place. I always like coming down the lighting aisles in these hardware stores. You can get one of these for the shop. A nice fancy chandelier for the basement, for the dungeon. Let's see, I will need... It won't come with lids? It won't come with lids in Oh. Get your own lids, I guess. Ooh, this one. Here we go. Yeah, that should work. Keep any uh, t-shirts or junk inside this thing. Well, workbench adventures continues. Of course, I can't find any workbenches there. I'm walking around, I just cash out in the boxes, and I ask the lady, hey, is there someone I can talk to to find where these workbenches are? And of course, she helps me, and we go around, and there's a pre-built one, and they have no in-boxes, and this Subaru ain't gonna fit a full-ass workbench in there. So I just put it on layaway. I'm gonna come back and get it. <laughs> I've been I've called my dad to use his truck, but of course he's ignoring me. So I went to 7-Eleven and I picked up a Slurpee because I had the gut feeling that this dumb 7-Eleven knew the machines would be working right. And of course I was right. And just by looking at the 7-Eleven, I mean, look at this place. Do you really think the Slurpee machines are gonna be working in this one? <laughs> Where's the, come on. Of course they weren't. Only like two flavors sort of worked. They came out like semi frozen. Two out of the six flavors worked, so thanks. All right, so workbench adventures continues. See if you can raise the table with our homemade lever. That's lowering it. Raise that boy all the way to the top. <laughs> I hope it doesn't come off the thing. I know what you just <laughs> flip the tip over. There we go. The official setup. Sort of. Partial. Temporary. <laughs> Temporary official. setup. Temporary official setup. Workbench Adventures is finally over. It's set up. We got a raise to the tippy top that we can do pretty much. The wheels are locked, so it's not gonna go rolling on us. <laughs> <laughs> Heat press is also set up. Look at this beauty. She can. Ooh, that's. Oh my God, that's warm. Don't. <laughs> you can. Ooh, yeah. I think this gets a little toasty too. It's all set up. It rotates. The suction cups are probably going to come loose, and I'm going to. I'm going to rotate this out of the way, and it's going to fall off the workbench. So we're probably going to have to get uh, some nails <laughs> or some screws, and uh, might want to attach this to the table. It is time. Oh, for our first t-shirt. Oh, real quick, while I was going through the instructions for the heat press, I noticed I was reading it. And if you can zoom in there, it says, once the temperature, this is, you can, you, I, you know this is a Chinese brand. <laughs> <laughs> once the temperature rise to the, uh, to the initial temperature, 
Once the temperature rise to the initial temperature, the buzzer will send out a shot beef beef, beef. <laughs> <laughs> or beef, beef sound. sound. So we have a good beef buzzer. Yes. When the timer goes off, we'll see. So whatever a beef sound is, I hope we find out. Here's all the test designs. I got like nine designs in here, boy. Well, you're not gonna get to see them all. We are just, except for this top one. Mm. But we're just, we're doing, give them a sneak peek at the top, boy. Look how nice that, look at the colors on that boy, like vibrant. Even in this dark dungeon, the colors look gorgeous. We're gonna grab my first design, the simple black and white. Oh, nice and rolly. The one, any fans of the One Piece? They know by now that the One Piece is real. There it is. And we can get much higher. And we're gonna press our first t-shirt at like 10.50 p.m. at night. It's a little late. It's way past both of our bedtime. But we're doing this. Yeah, yeah baby. Oh, Let's get rid of these yeah. beef instructions. Beef? Beef sounds? I can't wait to hear the beef sounds. <laughs> I hear beef feet. sounds on the toilet at that work all the time. Make the beef sounds that we're doing. This is probably to. overkill, especially just because it's my shirt. But I'm sure y'all don't want my greasy mozzarella stick fingers on your t-shirts. So I bought these nice cloth gloves, these murderer mm. gloves. Mm. Let's go ahead. I even bought this, which is probably overkill too. But it gets off any of the fuzzies. Any of them princess hairs. Yeah, the dog. Dog hairs come free of charge. Mm, okay. Dog and cat hairs <laughs> the cat. Please don't fall off the ledge. First pressing. I've never pressed a t-shirt before, so Lord have mercy. I'll put the neck right there. Boom. Looking pretty. So nothing gets too toasty. Let me warm up my shirt. Let's read the actual instructions. Place a barrel on platen and press for three to five seconds. Preheat the boy. One, two, oh. It's not counting down, so I don't know how to set up the time. <laughs> <laughs> Just to warm up the shirt. Here's our design. Oh boy. Oh boy. The moment we've been waiting for. Is this too short? Um, Probably. I think this plant is too oh, it's small. I don't know if it's center. Well, you know what they say. Measure twice, cut once, right? Yep, that's center on there. Looks center to me. Good tape. One glove like Michael Jackson. <laughs> Just in case, we'll set up the timer on the phone too. All right. 23 seconds on the clock, ready? Let's do it. I want our beef beef, come on. Beef beef. Damn it, it's not counting. Twenty-three seconds. Twenty-three seconds. Raise it up. Pop her out. Oh you know what? I hooked up. I wasn't even paying attention, that's how tired I am. Yeah, should, we probably should have did this when I wasn't so tired. I think I put it on the wrong way. I'm supposed to put the inside oh. down. <laughs> did it burn on the top? <laughs> Alright, let's... Fry the ink. No. Yeah. Nothing. Cool. So, there's still hope. I don't know. <laughs> Try it again. Try it again. Okay. Yeah, we'll Try it again. I was expecting to see the decal right now. <laughs> <laughs> But no, there ain't nothing up there, so... It's hard to tell, especially with a black image. I wasn't even paying attention at all, I'm such a rush. I think this is actually... Seem like, yeah. I think this is actually the right way. Because you, we can read it, so... Yeah, I think the sticky, I did put the... Somehow I think I might actually did it right. So, we let it cool down. Does it actually say? No, it doesn't. It just says, let it cool down, yo. You can take a cloth and kind of press the ink in if maybe you have smaller writing on there like this guy 
I'm really curious <laughs> what's gonna happen now. <laughs> if I even did it right, if I did it wrong. The suspense! I just like to keep everyone on their toes. As my dad always says, the more you rush, the longer it takes. Meaning you'll probably mess up something if you're trying to rush. And what did I do? I rushed and possibly messed something up. You think I did it sideways? I should have bought like some more transfers to test with. This is a tight squeeze. <laughs> I told you. <ya. laughs> oh my god. I almost dropped this trying to freak it. I was about to jump. All right, the moment of truth. I'm about to find out that nothing even stuck to it. <laughs> I'm peeling with confidence. Let's get, a, let's get a close up of this peel. Ready? One, two, three. Oh! oh! Almost. Almost. Maybe I could have pressed it a little bit longer. Maybe do like 28 seconds. Yeah. Oh, so it still close. looks good though. So close. Look at that. Oh, is it peeling? Oh no, okay, I didn't see oh, that. Oh, you didn't see that? Yeah, no. that's what I messed up. Now, but, do one quick fake. Yeah, like I don't know what else to press. No beef. No beef. No beef sound. Damn. No beef. Rip off. Ah. Oh. So lame. No. Hey, it's a prototype. Prototype. We're prototype. still learning. A little corner. That's about it. That's better than the whole. She looks beautiful. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Maybe I peeled it, too aggressively. At least we know it works. Mm -hmm. The decals are good. What? Point. For an 11 o'clock, yeah. Quick job. We got set up. We got our shelf going on. It's a little fractured on the bottom there. We do know that the one piece is real. It's definitely on there. That looks good. Like for just like quick baked on thing that I probably didn't even do right. All right, that wraps up the vlog. Should I put the shirt on? Should I uh, censor it? Yeah, we don't want to kill They got to they got to pay for that stuff. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> this is the stuff you got to pay for. Uh this break is bought to you by uh Wee Wee Puppy Pads. Yeah, they're now uh 25% more absorbent. Breaks over. How do I look? T-pose. Do I look T-posed? T-pose is real. You look like a QT pie. Now I'm scared to do all the other designs. <laughs> I'll watch more videos and uh, pray that the next time I don't peel it wrong or it's not centered. It's trickier than it looks. Even with that corner missing, it still looks good though. Thank you. Alright, we out.